What's up everybody, it's your boy Jobbers and Goons and today we have a fun video because of course we're cover covering one of the biggest menaces in all the comic books, Lex Luthor, one of the OG ops in all the comics and the main hater of Superman. If you love content like this and want to see a part 2 for Lex Luthor because the dude has 10,000 moments, uh, smash the like button, let's run it up past 500 to get it eligible for that next um edition or you could simply purchase the next edition code for the week is luther use that and you can get a video for 30 but you could also purchase tier list and blitz battles on the other channel for only 20 hit me up on discord uh to talk business but getting back to this i hope you guys enjoy this this is going to be several moments where uh that boy lex luther was no hair all vibes hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's begin so if you don't know who Lex Luthor is, he's a bald dude with alopecia and a shit ton of money and happens to be one of the smartest people in the multiverse. In DC Comics, constantly has a hate boner for Superman and overall is hilarious. So first moment we're going to talk about is when he actually flexed mad hard on Batman. So while Bruce was talking to... Uh, Lex, and sorry if my voice sounds funny, I have horrible allergies, but these two are going back and forth, basically talking about a partnership between their corporations. And at one point, Lex feels like he's being bullshitted, right? And he goes, yo, real shit. Let's cut to the chase. I know you don't like being let on either because you're Batman. And Bruce was like, yo, if that's your way of, uh, getting me interested in the conversation you win because uh holy shit but yeah he completely flexed on batman and uh stole his drip right there by getting the drop on him with the knowledge next moment to talk about and you'll be seeing a lot of this throwback moments um but this was way back in the day when lex luther was on one of his many rampages to destroy superman Gets the drop on not only Superman, but multiple of his homeboys. And it's like, yo, guess what? I turned your boy Flash and all your other homies into kids and I put them on a t-shirt. I'm going to do you the same. And you see him just rocking kid Superman. Yes, that's right. He turned his ops into children and beefed with children. Why? Because obviously it's way easier to beat the shit out of a kid than it is an adult. So yeah, he beefed with ops that were easier. That's right. He's trying to run up the W's. Don't be mad at the man. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. But yeah, this moment was pure comedy, as is most throwback comic moments. Now, this moment is really messed up, while at the same time, proves he's he's honestly a candidate for Tier 4 candidate. Uh, Hall of Fame goon status, you know? And with that in mind... Let's talk about when he cured a little girl's disease. Now, the reason this was crazy is one, obviously it's amazing that he's saving a kid's life. But two, by the way, this video low-key makes it seem like he hates children. It's hilarious. Um, he He's curing a disease that's considered incurable. So quite literally, because he's so damn smart, he's able to cure this girl, right? He cures her. Everybody's celebrating. But the celebration's ruined. When Big Lex takes the cure back, girl starts getting folded again. They're like, Lex, what the hell are you doing? He's like, yo, Lex giveth, Lex taketh, bitch. And he's like, yo, if you want this shit, kill Superman. You know who I want? Give me the blood, you get this shit. And I was like, bro, doing that to a kid is crazy. But of course, Lex is here for it. Now, this next moment is a conflict between Lex and Brainiac. If y'all don't know, Brainiac is one of the most annoying people to beef with in all of DC because of how damn smart he is. Literally, he's on an extra-dimensional, higher-level wave of thinking, right? Shit is treacherous. So, Brainiac and Lex get into it, right? This is the craziest part. Brainiac's basically a living computer on steroids and crack and meth and all the above, right? He's got all the amps. And 
He's going back and forth with Lex. Lex Luthor is literally holding his own with Brainiac in a hack off and is beating him in the trenches out hacking him. This is absolutely insane in a god tier moment from Lex. To follow up on the hacking moves he made, the juke moves he made in the hacking trenches, he proceeds to fold Brainiac. That's right, while going back and forth. Luther's like, you know what? I'm sick of your shit. I literally beef with the character with the strongest plot armor in comics. I don't give a shit about you. This man Lex literally pulled up on Brainiac and grabbed him by his little tiny weak ass head and snapped his neck. That's right. Luther is an absolute bully in the trenches. Funniest part was while he was doing this, Luther mentions how at some point Brainiac had gotten the drop on him and tried to style on him. And for that, he had to take this fat ass L. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Now, moving on to the next moment, Lex flexes mad hard on his main op. Let me tell you how he did this. Now, obviously, Superman has hella ops. No doubt about it. In fact, if you want to... uh. Shameless plug, purchase a Superman Rogue Gallery tier list video. Do so by hitting me up on Discord. But getting back to this, uh, after that beautiful plug, we see Doomsday pull up. One of the biggest ops to Superman. Arguably the one that scares him the most. And we see Luther pull up on Doomsday and punch him in his shit. He's like, yo, Superman, go handle what you need to do. I'm going to throw hands with this bump. And everybody shook because they're like, yo, Lex, Lex is like the biggest douche on Earth. Why would he be helping us? Like, why would he be fighting Doomsday? So he had them shook just with the idea of him potentially betraying them in that moment, which is hilarious to think about. We see in this moment next uh, a hilarious Luther clowning on Ops moment. So Luther used a bot to basically he tricked Grodd into biting off the head of a bot made him think that shit was human right and what this did was allow him to actually literally hack the mind of Grodd that's right he was quite literally mind hacking him not with any kind of superhuman abilities but literally hacking his brain and shit and while he's doing this insane feat by the way we need to see a blitz battle with Lex Luthor let me know in the comment section if y'all believe uh that's true but anyways, getting back to this, he's like, yo, has anyone else kept score? And they're like, what are you talking about? He's like, ain't y'all seen how bad I've styled on Brainiac and Grodd? Aren't they supposed to be big brained? Isn't that like top tier brain gang? Why am I shitting on them? And I was like, that's fair. Talk your shit. <laughs> and he definitely was. Now, this next moment was a vibe check from Pre-Crisis. As you're going to see, Luther uh, from Pre-Crisis is absolutely ruthless. So he pulls up on Superboy. Superboy is completely depowered, right? So that means he has to be a man just like the rest of us. And Luther is fully aware of this. And when he pulls up on Superboy, he's like, yo, you dumb bitch, shut your mouth. And rocks him. Hits him with a solid ass hook. This was hilarious because when he rocked him, he called him a bum and he literally knocked him out. Like he had that boy on ice with just one hit. Shout out to Luther with the heavy hands in this moment. Now next, after this vibe check he delivered to Superboy, there's the moment with Superman, right? Superman gets depowered and Luther was like, yo, I peeped how you don't have any power right now. And he was like, for years, you've literally only clutched W's on me because of plot armor and your dumbass strength and physical gifts. And he's like, that shit is out of the way now. It's gonna come down to who wants it more. And with that in mind, he swings on Superman. I'm talking about throwing straight up bungalows. At this point, he rocks Superman so hard that Superman's like, oh shit, he literally might kill me barehanded and by punching me if I don't do something about this. What makes it worse for Superman is he literally got a black eye instantly. 
That's right, Luther was applying pressure in the trenches and beating the shit out of Superman because finally Superman couldn't wait bully him with all that stupid ass super strength. Now, next in these final moments from uh, Luther are hilarious and they have to do with like tech and stuff like that. If you didn't know this, Luther's God tier at making random shit, right? He's in jail. And with literally devices found in his cell that are just normal everyday shit in the hands of this luther he designed and created a time machine ray that's right with literally random shit in his bathroom uh well paul is not actual shit you, you know what i mean god damn it it's his cell not the bathroom looks like shit anyway to be honest but getting back to this the boys locked up and he takes random items, makes a time machine ray to try to get out and cause chaos. It was absolutely insane. And it's actually, if you see my reverse flash videos, uh, some shit reverse flash would do. But yeah, shout out to him for turning random objects in his cell to uh, a time machine ray. That's insane. Finally, and smash the like button if you haven't already, uh, the boy Luther makes another insane invention now this one it, it was hilarious because he pulls up on superman and he's like yo superman i've been uh looking for ways to pop your bitch ass and when he pulls up on superman he shoots him immediately he blasted him and literally sent him um flying to the sun literally bfr superman instantly to the sun and when he did that shit, he's like yo this is like the best five racks I've ever spent. Like, I've never spent a better 5,000 in my life. This shit's a layup. And I was like, damn, way to stop, way to stop on that boy Superman with just a budget, you know? But uh, shout out to my boy because he also has billions. I don't know why he would only budget. But anyways, guys, that's it for funny ass uh, Lex Luthor goon moments. What do you guys think of him? What tier do you think he is? I'd probably say he's a four. Uh, and if you want to see part two, you can either hit the like goal or you can purchase it with the code uh, Luther down below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Jobbers and Goons. Make sure to check out my second channel, The Coffee Shop, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.